hello my beautiful sweets sweet Sadie J coming back at you hope everyone's having a wonderful day afternoon evening whatever time you're watching this video I hope everyone had a good day it is evening right now yes it is evening but I just wanted to come on and share um, a small little Dollar Tree hauls few little interesting things I found nothing really great but welcome welcome back to all of my lovely subscribers Thank you all so very, very much for returning and supporting my channel. Let's jump right into this, okay? Yeah, because I don't even know where I want to start. Okay, I found these new stencils while I was at my local Dollar Tree. And they are so cute. And those little lamps that I, um, excuse me, those little lamps that I did not get to finish decorating for um, Christmas, I thought maybe I could do something on the lamps and finish decorating those because I have like three or four of them. This one is the, it just says assorted. Oh, it's the party one. So you get like the flowers. Uh, let's see if we can turn this, how we want to turn it. You get like the arrow that says love. Sorry, y'all, that was upside down. You have the arrow that says love. You get the little bird right here. I hope you guys can see that. Then we've got <laughs> the flowers. So I thought this was really, really pretty to add decorations to many, many things. So I picked this one up because I had never seen that one there. I saw the hearts. I saw the, the ones that they normally have. But these two I had never seen before. And somebody had really, really gone through them. And <laughs> they most of them were laying down. But this one is, I think, the feather one. I believe this is the feather one. Let me see if I can turn her. Yeah, this is the feather one. It has all the different feathers on it. I know um, <laughs> the native family, Missy off of the native family would love this stencil. This is so pretty. It has all the different, I hope you guys can see this, all the different feathers on it. So I thought that was really, really pretty. And of course, it's by Crafted Square, and it's gorgeous, so yeah, I grabbed that. When I was making my Sunday dinner, and I was making my small little Cornish game hen, I have this little uh, sponge holder inside my second sink, and I love this thing, because before I purchased this, I always kept my cleaning sponges in like um, a paper cup or a plastic cup sitting on the side, which I still have for another sponge, but I like to keep the sponge that I use for my dishes in this. And I was washing the sink out from the chicken, <clears throat> and this, I don't know how I did it, I cracked it and broke it, so I went back and got me another one, because for a dollar, yeah, that's not a problem, and I really, really like it hanging in this in the second sink of mine where I can lay my dish sponge in. And while I was in the Dollar Tree, <laughs> I went out there without a band-aid on my finger. No, I'm not giving y'all the bird. <laughs> Maybe some of y'all know. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I went out there without a band-aid, and as soon as I got in the Dollar Tree, y'all, I started accidentally hitting his finger. So I had to go down the band-aid aisle and just grab a box of band-aids, and this is the one that I chose. And these are pretty good. These are the assured um short sheer antibacteria bandages and so i got these and they've been hanging in there really well but i'm still trying to air heal this cut so it'll heal faster but when i'm doing things working around the house i need to cover this baby up because it's like i said before it's like when you stomp your big toe and how many times after that you hit that big toe well that's what this is like okay so yeah i bought those and then I want to get back to doing my shout outs and I already have plenty of cards but I could not resist these in the teaching tree area. You get 36 of them and they're the little taco ones. So as soon as I can get back around to doing my shout outs I will be using these and all the others that I bought. But I basically bought it because it was tacos first of all. One of my favorite foods in the world and you got 36 pieces. So. When you go in the teaching tree, you can get 12, 10, 8, <clears throat> but this is 36. And this is what I like to use when I do my shout outs. And I have so many shout outs to do. I have to catch up. Whew. The vapors, the vapors. <laughs> and then I, was, I saw that I was getting low on my 
foil wrap sheets and y'all know I love these. I used one to cover my bird, my little baby bird. And oh my God, y'all, that Cornish game him was so delicious, you guys. I will keep my eye on it in the grocery store and if it's not too pricey, I will buy myself another one every now and then. It was delicious. I was like, whoa. I mean, to me, it was just like a little baby chicken, but it was so delicate and so, I don't, I don't understand how to say it. It's just melted in your mouth and I seasoned it perfectly. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really good. Um, so yeah, I bought another box of these because I saw that it was low when I pulled out a sheet to cover that little baby bird. And y'all know, I love hot and spicy food, but it doesn't love me. What is what do you say? Mm. But I couldn't resist, y'all. <laughs> I saw these wise cheese doodle jalapeno <laughs> poppers. These are cheese doodles, baked puff balls, jalapeno poppers. Yikes. <laughs> and I just could not resist. I grabbed one bag because y'all know when we see something new, something different, we all want to represent. That's just the nature of the beast. So I grabbed one and it expires May 4th, 2021, this year. And I was really, really curious about trying them because I know I can always give them to my neighbors or somebody. They just look like, ooh, I was gonna say they just look like the regular cheese balls, y'all, but the smell, the smell, it just smells like a bag of hot sauce. Woohoo! good Lord. <laughs> so they look like this. Oh my Lord. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. These are by Wise, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I like the regular hot cheese doodles that I used to buy all the time. Those things were the bomb. I just stopped buying them because, you know, too much of anything can be, you know, too much. <laughs> so... Not much flavor, like salt-wise, but you can taste the heat. Um, I don't know. I might have to try them again before I say I'm not a fan, but for right now, I'm not a fan. <laughs> so, we'll see. I might try them again. But I saw this magnet, and they have all kinds of, like, new magnets coming out. Really, really, like, fur baby related. They've been doing a lot of that here lately. But this one just, it just caught me and I had to have it because it is so true. Did y'all hear me? It's so true. Dogs are my favorite people. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Dogs are my favorite people. I'm like, oh my Lord, I miss my baby so much, so, so much. And I talked to my brother on my on his birthday and he's got a beautiful black lab and that, and he was talking about how Rue kept trying to put his um, paw up on him to make him pet him again. So I'm just like, oh, I miss those days. <laughs> I digress, let's move right on. If y'all know I'm a mushy, mushy baby, I will start crying in a heartbeat over a dog. That's right, over a dog. <laughs> but anyway, I found these. Oh, let me show you guys these. I told you I was changing my kitchen motif over to the Bless This Kitchen with the stove covers and the um, dish towels and pot holders. And I put all that stuff up. I'll show you guys later. But when I was in the Dollar Tree the other day, I found the hot plates in the round and in the square that said in the blue bless this kitchen the blue is starting to grow on me it's just taking a little adjusting time but it really is starting to grow on me but for the simple fact that it says bless this kitchen anything with bless kind you know things like that they just resonate with me and they make me so happy so I love my hot plates and I always keep one on the back of the stove, usually the round one. And then I'll um, put this one up on a decoration somewhere, like on an easel somewhere in my kitchen to represent. So I bought those two and I really like them. And then I went back and I got those mats that I saw the first time I showed them in, one, in some of my walkthroughs, but they look like this to go over here on my kitchen 
on my um, table. I'm not really sure it's going to look right on that green background. And I have no plans of taking that green tablecloth off because I just absolutely love it. I only take it off to wash it. So I'm just going to have to play around until I get it to where I will like it. But I did get four of these. And these are rubbery. And they are... 70% uh, PVC, 30% polyester. What's PVC, y'all? <sighs> hmm. I forgot what it is. But it doesn't matter. I mean, I like these. I like that material. As long as you can sit a hot plate on, on it and it won't melt through or anything like that, I'm there. So, it's from Home Collections and it's got the the gray and the white and then the blue trim on the end really really pretty I, I don't know we'll I have to work with it so we'll see how that comes out and then let's see the last of the non food things excuse me y'all I'm gonna be all up in your grill but yeah I'm gonna be all up in your grill <laughs> I got another one of these bath and beauty um, foam foaming hand washes and I've seen some new ones floating around. I thought I saw some cute ones on Lisa and Will's haul. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Will. <laughs> but I found, y'all remember me hauling this one the first time around. And this is the Bath & Beauty Fresh Scent. Looks like this. Hope you guys can see that. And then I found the Bath & Beauty Pear Scent. So I got that. Y'all know how my... My, I am with this hand wash, so, I mean, hand soap. It's just, and I really, really do love the foaming ones. I wish they'd come out with the antibacteria foaming ones. That would be really nice. Hear me, Dollar Tree? Can you hear me now? <laughs> so, yeah, I saw the pear one, and I had to have it, because these are the ones I really like to keep in my bathroom. So, and I really do like that foaming one. I was, um, my other stick-ups, I love these Airwick stick-ups to put in my bathroom, in the bottom of my garbage can, in my kitchen, along with some of the um, dryer sheets, gain, whatever kind you can get from the Dollar Tree. I put one of these down in the bottom of my garbage can in my kitchen, and then I put like two to four of the dryer sheets down in the bottom. And then I put my garbage bag on top of that, and it keeps my garbage can smelling fresh and it really, really does work. You change them out like every 30 days like you do everything else, and bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> so I've been doing that and it's really been working for me. So the one in my bathroom was dry and the one in the bottom of my garbage can was dry. So I just got another pack and this one is just the um, oh, 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 sparkling citrus. And that's the one I like the most, or lemon. Sparkling citrus or the lemon one. So this was sitting all by itself, I grabbed it. And then as I was putting away, or am still putting away my Christmas stuff, because I really haven't touched anything, two days in a row, not really, you know, whatever. And it'll get done when it get done. <laughs> I am a lady of leisure now. I do not have to rush to do anything anymore, even though I'm ready for the Christmas stuff to be gone. I found these, um, well, I just got these. They always have these. These are the Grands um, Essentials. These are the uh, extra, what do they call them? Heavy duty, the heavy duty garbage bags because I figured it would be a little bit better and easier if I put like the soft stuff in the bags so that I could fit the bags in my storage as opposed to a box or, you know, the um, containers. And that would give me more room if I could put the soft stuff, you know, into these garbage bags. And you get six of them in the 30 gallons. So, yeah heavy duty large trash bags for a dollar i said yes please i'll take it and then i found this other scrub it i was hauling the other scrub it's like the um mr clean easy wipes or whatever they're called and i was telling you guys that they had another scrub it out there i had seen it floating around i found it the other day and this is just called the scrub it odor resistant non-scratch scrubber safe in warm water Oh no, soft in warm water, firm in cold water. And you get one in a pack and they come in different colors. I chose the orange because they had a green, yellow, whatever. But for some reason I just chose the orange. Can you guys see this? 
So that's what it looks like. It's same company, scrub it. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll try it. And then it says good for your entire home. I don't know if you guys can see that. And so it'll have the things on the back. So I said, okay, for a dollar, I shall try that. Then I got two more of my super soft paper towels just for right now because I am going to do a Saturday run to Dollar General or Family Dollar, one or the other. I've been making up my list for all the stuff that I want to get. This Saturday came and went on me so fast I didn't have time to do it. The small Dollar Tree over here by my house, the smaller one further on the other side, is the only one that has these left. They're just stocking the shelves with all the um, Dollar Tree paper towels right now. Which I'm not putting Dollar Tree paper towels down because in a pinch, yeah, I fill my pantry with them. But I prefer these. And so when you go over to the smaller store, you have to look up on the top shelf. And it only had a few left. And every time I go there, I just grab two. So, yeah, that's my store. I'm sticking to it. That's right. That's right. And it's around that time again. Time. I haven't had a Sloppy Joe in a while. So I bought some originals. They restocked all the Sloppy Joes at my local Dollar Tree and this expires July 22nd, 2022. So I got another can of that because y'all know, I love my sandwich. I love my Sloppy Joes. Even though I eat them on wraps instead of buns. Yeah, well, something, you gotta do something, right? An effort is an effort. And um, I was gonna try to fast like my church is fasting, but I can't do it with my diabetes. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I'm just trying to make better choices, you know, wink, wink, <laughs> better choices. So I've got some more of this gravy cause I just like to keep it in my pantry. And this is the chicken um, gravy. And I absolutely adore this or the turkey one. It does not matter which one. I love it. It's delicious and it's actually healthier than, than the way I make my homemade gravy. So I got two more cans of that. And you, just like I said, turkey, chicken, it really doesn't matter. Just grab it, keep it in your pantry. You know, you have one of those days, one of those nights, you want something really good to eat, but you don't want to do that in-depth cooking. Open a can of that gravy, pour it over some ground turkey, Salisbury steak, whatever. You know, there's just so many options. And then I found these at, I don't know which Dollar Tree this was. This might have been the one in Franklin 10. This is the Parat Salmon Spread. And the first time I saw this, and I think the only time I've seen this, is on um, Thrifty Divas, the Oni's channel. You guys go over and check out her channel. She does awesome hauls, all kinds of things. I mean, she has a wonderful channel. Y'all go over and tell her Sweet Sadie J sent you, but I believe I saw this on her channel. And it's called Salmon Spread, Natural Protein, No GMOs. I wasn't really sure about the salmon part because I'm not a big salmon fan. It's growing on me, but still. Um, I love pottage meat. I love Vienna sausages. I ate all of those things, sardines, all those things when I was a kid. Me and my father, crackers, vinegar, little mayo. So I figured if I like pottage meat, I should like this. So yeah, I got this and I'll spread it on some crackers, you know, or my rice cakes or whatever. So I did get two of them because they had three but they were kind of beat up so i left that other one there that was really beat up and they don't expire until september 7th 2022 so what they put in there to live that long i don't know i don't know <sighs> we're just gonna give it a whirl and then the last but certainly not least i was absolutely flabbergasted when i found and I was so happy because when I was trying to eat right before, I used to always keep sugar-free Jello in my refrigerator. Now this is not the sugar-free version, but hey, for a dollar, I'm buying it, okay? They have the new Kool-Aid gels, strawberry kiwi, and you get four in a pack. And I was just like, what? 
I am going to eat it. The sugar in here is it's 18 grams of carbs and 18 grams of sugar. So they are high in sugar, but they're Kool-Aid, y'all. They're Kool-Aid. They got to have sugar in it. Whoever made sugar-free Kool-Aid? <laughs> Not me. We used to put so much sugar in that Kool-Aid. <laughs> So, and the next one is the Tropical Punch. So, I found these two, and they both were four packs. So, I was like, yes, please. I'm going to put these in my refrigerator and let them chill. And when I want a small little light snack, I am going to eat me some Jello because I love, love Jello. But I typically will buy sugar free Jello. But um, these don't expire into November 19th of this year. And October 30th of this year. So November for the tropical and October. So you got a, almost a whole year to eat these, but these will be gone in no time because I love to put a little scooge of Cool Whip on them and just spring them over and just eat them just like a dessert. So, anywho, that is the end of my Dollar Tree goodies. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. <laughs> Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you show my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye.